Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. I'm going to remove the air box just slightly out of the way so that I can get to this connector better and undo it. Use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. We'll loosen this up. There's a second one on the back side. We'll unplug this electrical connector here. We'll unplug this one here. This harness is actually connected to the air box, so if you can't pop it off, I'm just gonna leave it here and move it to the side. I'm gonna loosen this clamp, the intake tube. Lift up the air box. Make sure those are fully released. Take our air filter out of here so it doesn't get damaged. So this harness here has a little push connector. I'm gonna take these needle nose pliers and just push them together. And just pop it out. Put that aside. Put this aside so it doesn't get damaged. Remove the air intake tube from the radiator support. Pull that off of the air box. Move the three bolts inside, holding the air box, the lower part. They're 10 millimeter. Once it's loose, you can just lift it up and off the bracket, place it aside. Camshaft position sensor is located here on the side of the head. I'm gonna push in the lock. Remove the electrical connector. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt that's holding it in place. I'm gonna have a rag handy in case any oil drips out. I'll work the sensor, should pull out. So it's got some oil on it, I'm just gonna wipe it off. No oil's dripping out, so that's good. Here's our original cam position sensor from our vehicle. And our brand new one from 1AAuto.com. Same exact style of design. Same style connector. Same single mounting hole. The new O-ring. This should fit in there and work great. We'll take our new sensor, slide it right into place. Work it back and forth, get it lined up with the mounting hole. Reinstall the bolt to hold it in place. It's just a small bolt going into aluminum. I'm just gonna tighten it just till it stops. It's so right there, I don't wanna break it. Reinstall the electrical connector. Push it on until it clicks. Installation is complete. Reinstall the lower air box. We cleaned out all the debris that was in there. It's gonna sit right back on the bracket. Get the bolts, get them started. Tighten them down, socket and ratchet. Install the intake tube back into the box, just slides right over. Line it up on the radiator support. Just gonna tighten those down, I feel like I'm tight, and I'll stop. You don't need to kill these, they're just holding plastic into the thin sheet metal. Reinstall the air filter. Install the air box cover. Let's get two tabs over here. 
that need to go into these two hooks. Slide it over and line up the little slot in the rubber with the plastic alignment tab. Make sure that the clamp is in the grooves. Tighten the screws holding in the air box. Reconnect our electrical harness. I'm going to clip it back into the spot on the air box for it. Connect the mass air meter and this little valve here. We connect it. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.